Yeah, I was trying to get this. Uh, that's a president of Slovenia. Bolet Pahor cried today like a baby inside of the Slovenian parliament. And once I tried to get this video, exactly what you see here, this should be his speech to the parliament. Uh, a video recording is not available. And that's something I was told it will all depend on how you're going to do stuff. He praised today NATO, he praised today Western society as whole, well, uh, European Union. Uh, he was beating me up. This is Milan Kuchan, basically. He was beating me, literally, he was beating, he had people beat me up on a million occasions when Slovenia entered the European Union and NATO because of me. I was a uh, plain evil, nothing but evil for these people. So this is so hilarious that I do want to video record this stuff, but the video recording it's not available. This is now a Slovenian president, which will be substituted with by someone else. Um, anyway, you know, in Slovenia it's all the same. Basically, they uh, they run this country in a. Uh, Borat Pahor told me, if you're going to do this stuff like this, and I'm going to have to uh, talk about the NATO, about the European Union values, as part of our society in Slovenia, it's going to be repercussions for it. This gentleman here that you see, this gentleman was involved in MK Ultra. This individual right here, uh, and what this is, the issue that was presented to me under MK Ultra. It's gonna significate death of my father. And it's really interesting that today I've noticed this here at RTV Slovenia. RTV Slovenia is like a private channel of Borut Pahor Amilan Kuchan. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this right below so that you can see this stuff is authentic. Sveče, 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 uh, 67 year of Austrian contract, area of uh, double language, still not done. What I see from this is basically that Milan Kuchan, Borut Pahor, try to rationalize, they try to apologize violence against me with a trick from abroad. You see, this is where Slovenian minority is. Sweat. Let's go here. And so we're going to do this. Because there's no way you can get anything out. And so let's see where exactly... This would be, this is right along Slovenia, and so I want to go and see this location to demonstrate you basically what that used to be part of Slovenia before, but it was taken away, uh, that I have to note, but um, it significates Borut Pahor being so... Um, also, the parliament, the Slovenian parliament, being so criminal about it that they actually extort Austrian government, they actually extort Germany with something that is past due, obviously, through me.
literally I'm gonna go and I'm gonna talk about oh look they post uh, this stuff about my father oh that's really incredible stuff that I have to report to you about today uh, my father they exercised against one another option of it for which they insisted it's gonna be ha Hasi Hasi Lu you know Hasselination, Hasselination, Hatsuli, Hatsuli no Gen. That's, um, there are natural and there are no natural. You could get some wild mushrooms, uh, they would cause you hallucinations. Uh, you could get pills, they would cause you hallucinations. If you would get pills, and those would cause you hallucinations, and let's say that you did suffer stroke in the past. Now I am talking about Peter Kops. Peter Kops was the one that brainwashed me with this kind of stuff. Uh, you're going to see father demented doing stuff like reaching out for the spoon. I'm going to post the video on this one only a few times. Uh, and if he gets used to doing stuff like this, he was quite he was quite aggressive about it. But I think because of what he stated to me during MK Ultra, exactly because of this issue they're doing, they are borrowing him for certain things. He is completely brainwashed. He's like a toy in the hands of these people, in the hands of the psychiatrists, police. Ljubljana basically, this criminal parliament in Slovenia. And so he told me under MK Ultra, he didn't say anything about directly, but it was talk that they will be doing dirty stuff like this. They will be doing dirty wash like this. Germans in front of me, Angela Merkel, and Americans proposed Slovenia, Milan Kuchan in ninety seven to stop this MK Ultra case. To stop the violence against me because this was completely insane that went on here yet they wouldn't stop they intensified violence they had Vladimir Putin purchase me literally through the oil contracts and everything he had to offer to West basically war mucho tanks mucho money mucho problems a lot of problems uh, that's what that is and you know i don't forgive this to the west they let it go they let the violence roll on roll on roll on roll on um regretfully so i have to say that one of the scenarios was used i didn't want to say against me or against my father also to brainwash me on you're gonna see father with this kind of hallucinations basically it would be the best for me to demonstrate you this thing here so that you understand exactly what i am talking about it appears i have taken that page off and so it's not going to take me much to get there it's just stroke hallucinations and then that's all you get to see here visual hallucinations due to loss of vision also known as Charles Bonnet syndrome if you lose all a part of your field of vision after stroke the brain might generate images you see the brain might generate images to fill, to fill the missing areas these types of hallucinations are usually temporary, but might last for several months before reducing. Okay, so it's kind of logical. Ah, I learned about this psychiatrists, not only these politicians, but they lied about absolutely everything they said. They opened their mouths and the only thing that came out was lie. So you're going to see this, you're going to see uh, father doing stuff like this only few times then what happens is the brain programs itself into this kind of thinking improper
creating a wrong shortcuts like to you under MK Ultra. Mm -hmm. That's how they did. And so what's going to happen if you're not going to report this stuff, the only thing that's going to happen is your father is going to go completely zip black. Yeah, uh, I can say, I cannot say that this was mother continued, mother incited further in a paranoia and insisted to me it will be appeals. She's going to sip him in the mouth. And father, who knew about all this crime, who gestured all this stuff indirectly, demanded for me, record here, record there, do this, do that. Acted so stupid, so foolish yesterday already with this stuff, uh, with ideas, so that I would the Russians say, oh, my father, my God, their fucking uh, mother sipped him inside uh, the marsh. She had a theory that he's going to go sleep and the only thing she's going to do is zip like this uh, inside of his mouth. Not that I would say that this is something that could not happen. Also, she, there's so many ways she could have done to the guy that is so down on his knees. I'm not saying that. Um, psychiatrists insisted me that nothing will be wrong with the father. Nothing will be wrong with a father, but once he gets, not once he gets. I wonder actually what the pill was when was given to him here inside of the room. They did insisted on a scenario that it will be given to him some sort of hallucinogen, hallucinogen, hallucinogen that will be used. A drug, therefore, they will be used to create like a chain reaction and bring the previous injury he had from stroke back. Uh, and obviously, just a few hours ago, father talked about someone. Oh, and he, he, he's, he's really seriously. I, I, I was going to say insane or crazy or whatever you want to say this, but he's so much brainwashing this shit that he doesn't see one meter in front of him. He exampled me against someone over there from Zhabiavas who died three months ago saying that which mother completely declined. But he claimed that this man, uh, he had a heart attack or uh, he had whatever, um, <laughs> stroke or heart attack or whatever. I don't know. I got recorded this stuff. And um, he was completely down and then he recuperated himself again. And mother started immediately, no, no, what are you talking about? That's stupid. No, no, that's never happened and this and that. Uh, you know, and then we went to some other stuff. He knows very, very well about this because he was part of his MK Ultra staff members. He knows something about brainwash, drugging of people. He watched it for 26 years. After all, he should. He was almost on the day one on the picture during MK Ultra in '95 when it all started. Uh, he had crazy ideas claimed to me during MK Ultra that they kind of designed like his diet for him and this diet would substitute a certain amount of calories and now whatever it would give they would give him he would have to balance this diet no matter what and get through somehow either way he knows whichever way uh, he was diagnosed with unidentified dementia. Um, he's got a problem with the vision on one eye, practically say so, it's blind. Uh, he's got to get the drops and stuff uh, and injections in the eye. 
something that he claims was done to him he claimed me that this is not that they did something to him you see that's a problem with the people that come out so unclear and uh, they continue to play some kind of game like this he claims I do to skier and this and that but you know his troubles that's what he thinks at least would also be over if I would get fucked and find my way back to psychiatric hospital that's what he thinks they really want to get rid of him to be honest with you my mother was on a brink of the nervous breakdown when he came back she warned me severely from returning him back into a household did not want to see him on a picture my niece daughter from my niece warned me about getting him back dared me about getting him back on a picture and so did many other people including my sister I'm trying to help him out but it doesn't work um, all through I, I started to understand him now a little bit better uh, and yeah it really appears that there's been something else that's going on uh, it appears that well, because of what he insisted me that in MK Ultra that they're going to be doing something to him that they're going to be sipping him stuff in the food and stuff like this watch this watch that record here record there it's going to be too late for me and this and that this is exactly the way it was but then at the same time uh he wanted to uh claim me that he's going to give me this he's going to give a police chief uh a recorder of the police chief talking about here now master director ogolin who claimed me by the way they're gonna go buy recordings obtained from the father's room it is just too much shit that they brainwashed with because it's the kind of stuff that they just it is very sensitive to them the stuff that I heard today from Bord Pahor at this Slovenian Parliament it was like a crime river I mean they don't even they don't even present they don't even play the video which they advertised uh, on the net maybe I'm gonna get one I'll be fortunate enough to get one somewhere else but uh, Bord Pahor told me if, if if I'm gonna have to do something like this say something like this because of you uh, I am gonna uh, really take parent or both parents of the picture this was a straight threat to me from Bord Pahor uh, it was also the threat to me from RTV Slovenia entire RTV Slovenia as I said a private Milan Kuchan TV radio network was involved in this crime they were coming like flies all over this place here they threatened with this exact issue they threatened with the issue that if he will have to say something like this he made an arrangement with them he prearranged all that stuff you're not going to even get to see uh you're not going to even get to see this video from their network but lucky me when i was in the room <laughs> and i stayed long enough that actually the audio recorder was on and uh, I got that on tape so if if it's gonna be if it's just gonna be uh, my audio recording or that audio recording is gonna stay for a while I'm gonna put one on YouTube and you can take one down for yourself you're talking about somebody talking to you about proud of being NATO member proud of being European Union member proud to be uh, part of Western society something like like you would have I don't know I don't even know <laughs> you would have like a star in somebody somebody like this saying to you something like that like like uh, I don't know Stalin is a really good comparison okay you're talking about like all those uh, people that dreamed since the end of the World War two talking about Eastern European people that dreamed about the day there will be a war 
a total war between the Soviet Union and West. That kind of person is what Borut Pahor is. He hates me for this stuff deeply, but he had to oust one, like it or not. He is apprentice, really a student of Milan Kuchan. I couldn't say there's any better than that. And so the guy that you see right there, that you see right there, this guy, Volk, this guy was involved in MK Ultra. I was brought to this place uh, where this Slovenian minority lives. Uh, and I can give you the whole history about this guy, about his political whereabouts. Um, it would be interesting actually to meet, uh, see around and give some proofs about uh, whether I was there or not, whether I know this guy or not. Uh, I can tell you that this guy was in a politic already for a very long time. Um, I have no idea what what um, what the deal was, whether this guy is from this place at all. I'm thinking about because in the video uh, that was presented to me here at this RTV Slovenia, if I demonstrate you, he talks in exactly the same location uh, he talked to me earlier. But uh, let's see this stuff again here. Oh. Okay, I see that the internet was disconnected. I v inicijativi za ustavna uprašanja skup. Da se z zakonom uvede možnost, kje imamo možnost prijaviti otroke k dvojezični vzgoji, kakšne kvalitetne standarde treba upoštevati, kakšna mora biti kvalifikacija pedagogin, pedagogov, kaj se skup pričakuje. Ob tem še pa udarjajo, da bi morala za to odgovornost prevzeti tudi Zvezna Reven, kar s posebno resolucijo zahtevajo tudi pri skupnosti koroških slovencev. Okay, I, I am definitely going to transmit this. Uh, it says here, 67 years of uh, signing interstate or interstate agreement contract. Uh, they claim the seventh article is still invalid, is still not fulfilled and so on and so forth. I, I will gladly do this, uh, but what I'm saying to you de facto is true. They did actually ask father, in fact, verbally ask father if he would, if he could do something like this for them, tra, 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 tra. And so, on the other hand, I don't like this kind of stuff being played down on me. Uh, why is it that I have to be used for this kind of politics, for this kind of... Uh, for this kinds of, um, what do you want, extortion? I mean, I lost 28 years in Slovenia as a native Slovenian. Uh, something that was really not done to anyone anywhere else in the world for that matter. And I don't know, really, if I'm really the best person to represent their interests in that sense. Because I feel that the people who murdered Ivan Kramberger, Ivan Kramberger was Slovenian that should have been a president, first president of Slovenian. And the only thing that happened was, I'm not saying that he did order assassination, talking about Milan Kuchan, which you can see right next to this man here. Um, Philanthrop, wealthy, inventor, all kinds of stuff, this man, uh, this Ivan Kramberger, uh, was assassinated, killed, murdered, shot from behind uh, with a gun that opened, that flew right through his chest with uh, incredible precision. Uh, and it was all blamed on a, a drunk 
from the area where he had this speech. Uh, everybody in Slovenia claimed it was actually Milan Kuchan behind it all. Behind it all. Uh, this drunk no longer is alive. Uh, that usually what happens with witnesses. Uh, I don't think he was even drunk that much. We don't actually know really what exactly went on, what happened. Uh, he initially declined this stuff and back and forth with the police uh, in the jail and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, so I'm not saying that Milan Kuchan ordered a murder of this individual, but somebody like Milan Kuchan that was... What can I say? Just as I stated, this 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 was this man posed to be um, in line as uh, president of Yugoslavia. Uh, Yugoslavia this used to be a greater Serbian Chetnik state, and so I don't know whether this was the guy. And that's why I resent Slovenian community as whole. Well. I do resent this. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't feel okay about this. Uh, you caused a lot of problems. You ruined my life. With lies. With crap. And you caused tremendous damage to other nations. You caused tremendous damage. To Bosnia and to Croat. We have a war now in Ukraine because of you. You did this stuff. You caused this stuff. And so I don't know if it was right for you the people of Slovenia. Because I was in every city all over Slovenia for you to allow men like this to lay hands on me because by doing that kind of stuff excuse me we all have to agree and I don't give a fuck about your personal feelings how you feel about this we all have to agree that we have a problem here that we have a problem we have a conflict of interests here this man and myself did not fought for this country to be what it became over the course of the time. If I knew what Slovenia became, that this is what my life, life of the dog, is going to be, I wouldn't give a three fucks about you, the people of Slovenia. You are not worth it. My effort, you are not worth it of his effort. And so from this kind of politic here, this extortion like this, through the death of my father, I completely distance myself. I don't want to have anything in fact, with this stuff. I actually discourage Austrian side to proceed anything that would grant through extortion, through this kind of extortion, through this kind of crime, what otherwise should be the case, even with my own people of Slovenia. What should be people of my own, people of my own, but you witnessed, you saw with your own eyes what exactly took place, what happened when you spoke to them, when you tried to stop this violence and how far this stuff went against all sorts of people. It was all kinds of stuff. It was people that suffered on both sides. And I'm going to say, if it's for the people of Slovenia that suffered in the process, and it was people in Poland that suffered, and in Slovakia, and in Czech Republic, even in Russia and in Serbia, it was people that suffered. You should have come forward with this stuff in a different form, in a different way. Because this is no way to this type of Terrorism. This is what a terrorism is. To communicate with any human being. I don't consent to this. Uh, as far as myself, you have a complete, talking to Slovenian nation, you have a complete disconsent here. Disconcert. I don't agree with a criminal mind. A crime like this, that you want to proceed on steps of Milan Kuchan against your own people. Uh, to earn what you think otherwise is yours. I think, in fact, you don't deserve it. I don't think it's yours. I don't think you deserve it. And I'm saying this from Nova Mesta, from Slovenia. I don't think you are entitled to this. 
until you do your part, you apologize in front of the world for the crime against me, collectively as a nation. Now, the only thing I am going to do is, I'm going to demonstrate to you what it looked like, the situation with my father today. My father was experiencing characteristic signs of stroke, something Peter Kopsch accented on the right side that he suffered the stroke, mother mentioned 2018, but that's of course, that of course is not a true, none of that stuff is true. Yeah, it happened, God knows what it happened in 2018. What the truth is, however, he was at the neurology department for that kind of very reason, whatever was done to him already in 2007. And I have proven that because I have identified people that appeared right there at the hospital in 2007. So it was ongoing game with my father's life. It was a play. It was a joy. It was a bullshit. He started to believe through the health care that should be his right. That's why I call Austria to reject this. To reject, even to call out. Call them out. Call them out. And you can do what you were turned down in 97. Because, as I stated, I am not going to comply with this. I'm not going to forgive. I'm not going to forget. I will fight to the end for as long as I live to be recognized as a human being. And I will be recognized as a human being when this nation, this Slovenian nation, will express sorrow, disgust for Borut Pahor, for Milan Kuchin politic, for the crime that lasted for no less than 28 years on behalf of Moscow, on behalf of Belgrade. Through some people in the West that collaborated, supported crime for their own financial gains, interests. My father eventually agreed to this kind of game, but I'm going to tell you, just maybe three hours ago, stuff that he talked about his friend who passed away three months ago, that's a real hallucination. He repeated so many times. He repeated concept of being completely down and getting up. Being completely down and getting up. He was getting inside of the hospital for like God knows how many times because he became dehydrated. And so in the hospital they just connected him intraveno to uh, they they returned him uh, they hydrated one and it was again good to go and in between he had his episodes with his jokes and a lot of episodes with the people from Milan, everything actually and through the police got to know, uh, meet people got to know, fuck that Who he, is, he is what I read the other day I read the other day about some trial there, uh, Amber Hart and Johnny Deppel, Deppel, Deep, histrionic personality and shit. That's what my father has idea. My father has idea that because of this MK Ultra that went on, he says, I was not the only one that was subjected to MK Ultra. He was subjected to MK Ultra. He was terrorized. He was death threatened. They did shit with him, big time. That he doesn't live the fucking life. He does not live like a person, like, like a person functions. He has his episode. It was, they, they have done, this guy was in a hospital just for being dehydrated. I don't know, maybe 50 times, maybe more than 50 fucking times. They spoiled him. And they taught him, they teached him, he had a bad personality and they 
everything that was bad already. They have amplified in him. Psychiatrists did. The same people that did bad stuff to me did. They amplified and they teach him to think in all the wrong ways. To not accept and stuff like this. It's really actually not his fault. It's really actually not his fault. I feel bad. I wish I could help him out somehow. But how can you help a person that doesn't want to help himself? It's impossible. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. Uh, down below I'm going to put the video so that you can see that. Um, if you would ask me, do I believe that father actually agreed to take some kind of a... Hatsi... Ah, whatever. Yeah, I would say, yeah. With my mother, I was taken to the home for elderly people on visitations to father, back and forth. My mother came with the best scenario ever, uh, which she repeated a few hours ago. She stated to me, I can't make a deal with you. Uh, what was promised from her side, she would say to me, if I would go and reveal from Tatiana Proxel, psychiatrist also involved in this stuff, a scenario about the Hasi, uh, Hasi, oh, Hasi, <laughs> not doing this too well in English. It will come to me. If I would go and talk about that kind of stuff that she will help, they did. They did have, I am 100% positive. Uh, well, I'm going to say not exactly 100% positive. But let's say that's 50-50. Okay. Uh, an individual appeared, most likely with a silicon mask, that looked like she does. And insisted me how, well, you know, uh... I am gonna, I already made an arrangement with your mother, you know, and we're gonna go and we're gonna get rid of your father, we're gonna give him, uh, we don't do this stuff, but we got this stuff from somewhere else, they do it everywhere, they do it the same way like this, you give him a, a, a pill, and the only thing that happens is it pushes out a one, uh, the previous state stroke and then the only thing you do is you just guide him basically through uh, that's what I was told that's what I was brainwashed uh, with mother definitely participating knowing absolutely everything about it of course if both parents which my mother reminded me on a million times not only on the Kyojo but also in real time would disappear and you would be financially broke will destroy you you're dead On what I had somebody sitting here inside of the room with me, next to me, that looked like Loise Peterlet. Loise Peterlet, that supposedly was the opposition of Milan Kuchan and La La La, talking to me how I have to post all the audio recordings in respect to my mother, all the audio recordings in respect to my mother about how it's going to be when the father is going to come home and he's not going to comply and she's going to do the stuff, all kinds of shit. She was really active yesterday up to 3 o'clock in the morning and I did post some videos below that really, really, really are insane. Even coming up with some magazine where you have for the joke a psychiatrist on the front page and shit like this. Sick shit. Um, and then it became more so interesting because it became even that, that's really interesting with the psychiatrists it became even more interesting because I have some ladies claiming me nothing until you get also her uh, because I realized and I that's why I'm not 50 50 I'm about probably I would say 80% that she was not all through she did pull some crazy stuff 
for these people some stuff also for me I think who knows who knows really who knows um, she had a theories that she wants to help she wanted to help me out it was like this um, which who claimed me nothing because it it it, it it felt like it was not she to be to be completely exact on this issue it felt like it's not she she was not she and I said you you just want to set her up you want to you want to do this eh? and they say yes nothing till you get her nothing till you we, we said you want her uh, and they were like yes we want her that for me goes it turns a little to about 80 percent that an individual who talked about this hot hot hasiluni, sorry about this hallucinogens is you even say hallucinogens maybe god knows how you say that in english properly hallucinogeni for slovensko but i know this is not good but anyhow uh, you have it it was another individual <sighs> and for that one however I could say definitely uh, was Tatiana Prokshu for that one definitely I could say it was Tatiana Prokshu Oh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and uh, she is present located at Begunia Begunia is a location also oh, close to Austria right here rehabilitation center where they had me also on that MK Ultra what I noticed about her already way back ha huh, I don't even know what year was it but it was way 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 back when it was Zoran Muja they brought me to this place and it's it's quite crazy because I knew her from the novel mist I knew her Slovenian uh, even semi blonde mom and I remember her father uh, I remember all this stuff when uh, mom would bring me home because they realized it's gonna be really important I she saw herself more like on a Serbian side she wanted me to comply absolutely with everything I think she worked at Kirka pharmaceutical her mother and she would bring me home and that's how Tatiana Proksha would meet me when she was still uh, she was still really really green she was um, a very young girl back then okay uh, how young I, I don't know maybe like uh, 16 years old young like really, really young maybe 15 maybe 16 um, the years would go by and um, she decided we'll go study for psychiatry become a psychiatrist once she reached 18 years she expressed her interest in me literally like this but under ultimatum it was like are you gonna be mine right now or it's gonna be over before you know she stated me will not lose time and gave a time frame in MK Ultra like six months or something like this then she started to claim that she completely rejected me and so forth and so forth but she still tried back here and there she always remained in the picture since she started to hate me 
Well, at least what I think, this is what she wanted me to think. I don't think she ever hated me, really. I don't think she ever really hated me. But she wanted uh, make me feel like that she hates me. Uh, and it was... It was so she had to meet she had to meet all the wrong people talking about the Borat Pahar, Milan Kuchan, that kind of people, but most of the medical students in Slovenia before they get they become a physicians and so on, they have to meet these wrong people. Uh, these people did like this since the beginning. Uh, it became so evident, so dirty through this case, they became so exposed because I rejected Milan Kuchan time and again that they diversified this kind of crime therefore conditioning young people with colleges, with universities is what I try to say uh, through crime, through basically you're gonna get a room uh, there's so many, so many rooms available with this um, you know, I don't know, you, you see some sort of uh, financial support and stuff like this, and they conditioned young people and brainwash them and teach them to comply with the system through, you know, through halls like this, and basically took over entire Slovenian healthcare. This is how why Milan Kucha is so powerful, Borat Pahar, because these, these are actually like a drug lords, mafia, criminals that handle homes for elderly hospitals therefore public health care inherited from previously known Yugoslavia. Slovenia used to be one of the republics before. And so in all this anger or whatever she stated me she started to analyze me very early and here's why I know that she did have something with this stuff. because of this stuff here because of this stuff here you see she said i'm gonna have this exactly what you see here it's gonna be when you're gonna read about me you're gonna read exactly this thing here i don't even know when she posted this on her page or whatever she has this like this as a visit as a card already for quite a few years but it could be that she upgraded this Due to her transfer to Begunia, I demonstrated you from Novo Mesa, that's I'm located on the opposite side of Slovenia. Uh, and she stated me, you don't have any of this, you don't have any of this, you don't have any of this. Like this, she brainwashed me. And she was really young back then. She was quite young back then, really. I don't know what 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 her age was, but this this was this was, I understand, a really good student. This was really, really talented. She would literally come to study inside of this room when I would be brought from the U.S. Literally. Literally like this. But, she said, because of this, this is where I will get you. This is where I will get you. This is where I will get you. And, uh, boy, that was um, not really not a good stuff, to be told like this but this was just a young girl actually it was a beautiful girl uh, I was interested in myself but according to her I was uh, and also to other I was incompliant what means that I I was interested also in other girls involved in MK Ultra. Uh maybe she was not interested in me at all ever but she needed me uh, to get not only through university but to get her career going, psychiatric career. She, however, stated me during MK Ultra that she will go to psychiatric hospital in Begunia, where she will be waiting for me. Uh, previously, she was in a completely different branch, basically, in the city of the Novo Mesto, which she, you see, neuropsychiatric department with a patient who suffered psychosis with a patients with that suffered depression uh, anxieties you know all that kind of stuff um, 
Interesting, she mentions here also strokes. At the time, however, that is what she told me. That was still 2014. I don't know. I don't know because I don't count so much stuff. This this lasts already for 28 years. It started in 95. She claimed me it was in 2014 and then it's going to be uh, the last thing I'm going to do. Uh, I'll put you inside the mental hospital one more time. And if you say MK Ultra, publicly, anywhere. And so I said MK Ultra and the ambulance stopped by and they picked me up again. Uh, and took me again to psychiatric hospital because I was gonna, I wasn't gonna stop my uh, complaint. At the time, I thought it's about a human rights. Come on, this is nothing humane about this bullshit. Uh, and she said, from here on, I'm gonna be inside of the psychiatric hospital Begonia, and that's gonna be uh, curing the patients with acute psychosis, bipolar, uh, depressive, and this here is what she claimed is going to bring me here, suicidal, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it was like, I am not going to be able to get you here, I'm not going to be able to get you here, but what stuff I'm talking about, this stuff here, uh, that was written about, she made her own that's interesting that I shouldn't say this and I would say this if I wouldn't be self-assured about this stuff she made her own page that looked just like this but way back in time here we are talking about maybe this is the best stuff and I recognize her um, that if it was for somebody else it would make an impression on another psychiatrist or something like this, but with so many proofs that I have submitted, identifying people, it won't make any difference. But she made a page like this and told me I am going to only join the page that's going to look like this. It's going to be exactly like this. I don't know, you know if it's exactly like this that it looked like in 2000 and maybe five or something like this. But that's what she stated me. I'm not going to get you this. I'm not going to get you this. I'm going to get you this. Now, did she have a choice, a chance uh, to choose the psychiatric uh, location uh, from Novo Mesa to Begonia? Yes, of course. I stated that we were at this psychiatric hospital in Begonia before one even became a psychiatric hospital. I was there literally during, uh, as you want to call it, restoration. Literally when they were changing the stuff and creating the hospital literally with the psychiatrist inside I was brought before I was brought way before um, I have to go and see this stuff but that was a begonia I'm certain and so here is she claimed you come to me this and that la 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 well, I'm going to put it this way. She drove me to Banja Luka, that is in Bosnia. Bosnia and Herzegovina. Banja Luka area. Uh, that's where I understand from her father's side, this is where they come from. And, uh, no, it was the same song as for the, let's say, Mrs. Tanya Fayon. Huh? Mrs. Tanya Fayon is this one here. We'll buy the house for you, for us. It was always like this. Anything we're going to get, loan or whatever, it's going to be for us. So you have these girls buying themselves properties, getting loans and stuff like this. Uh, and it was always for us, for us, right? That's what you want, yeah, for us. Um, if you wanted to run, whatever it is that you wanted to do, it was no place once you were hijacked to the place like this. Uh, there was no place, there's nothing 
nothing nothing to run nothing to do with it now do I think that this is that this individual here therefore this psychiatrist here Tatiana Proxel was the one that did something like this to my father well it was a claim that she's going to be working everything the entire case that's going to be it's going to be built uh entire 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 case is going to be it's going to be all about uh, me to get me basically into this place here into this begonia here that's what she insisted the case is going to be and that was long long time ago she knew not only knew present president of the serbia you're talking about alexander vucic that's a chetnik that's very very bad there's nothing really good i possibly could say no. She personally knew and knows Mir Radodic. That's a Bosnian part of Serbian uh, minority, uh, Serbian minority in Bosnia, therefore Serbian part, Serbian Republic, whatever you want to call this in Bosnia. Um, personally, these people refer to her as president of Yugoslavia the people like this you must have a tremendous respect for her this is if you get something like this you don't understand what this is la, 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 la. they say a lot of stuff about a lot of people and it's really not my business I'm just giving a complete feedback about how that stuff was done right so you see where the begonia is and I am from this part here from novel master she is from novel master too So, to connect these dots, whether it finally was a Tatiana Proxer, that it's Tatiana Proxer that is behind this game with the father, I would say, uh, obviously, to a certain degree. Um, I, however, would do her great injustice if I would mention this stuff here only um, this is a female just like this Tanya Fayonis and I'm sort of um, I'm not going to say I'm a feminist I'm just a regular guy I don't like her political party because it's a political party of Borat Pahor there is no reason for me to like this stuff here um know her entire family, knew her mother, knew her, know her brother, knew absolutely everything. And I got to say that both of these girls tried, both of these girls tried to help me out as much as they possibly could. If I would go to Tatiana Proksha, medical doctor right here, Psychiatry hospital begun, you know, intensive care unit, da da da. I I can be, I have to be honest with it. She did she did go to this exact site here. Now right, this is called the Research Gate Net Profile Tatiana Proxer. Look, just like this. And uh instructed me. to go to these people here citations, reads, network that kind of stuff and so that I would meet the people involved in MK Ultra. now here you can see uh, all kinds of people here from all over the place of which many have nothing to do with the Serbia or whatever many people here 
you're gonna see they don't have anything to do with uh, Serbia um, you can see Irish girl right there you can see all sorts of people right there not only from the field of psychiatry and this and that and so on but and I was warned when you're gonna put this stuff you're gonna we're gonna make sure this is gonna disappear from online and la 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 that kind of stuff you see if, if she wouldn't care about me at least a little bit she wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff too you know so you know for me to say for me to go about this stuff uh, for me to go and say stuff about what her part is in this game between the mother father and the system I think I was completely completely clear about this stuff father got away many times like this uh, mother appeared was definitely not happy to see him uh, she appeared to be suffering a nervous breakdown uh, but you know their parents could be misleading and maybe it's not misleading when the police is involved in this stuff when director of the police is involved in the stuff um, the best is to just not make any assumptions and it's just as I said it to my father um, there was a contract and it was done in a such a way to bring to push to surface the the conspiracy theory if you like the conspiracy theories this is not a conspiracy theory this proven is not a conspiracy theory it can't be a conspiracy theory after all just so you know the cable was plugged in earlier so i don't know how the cable got disconnected in respect to the internet Okay, I just want to make sure about this stuff. It's not available because there is internet, but this thing is not functional. We have to do it again. Okay, you can see it right here. And uh, when you try to do this, just it will not do it. that's very important for me to clarify that I did not unplug the cable because I remember there was a page that Romana tudi za socialne demokrate lahko rečem da smo zadovoljni ker bomo lahko sledili zastavljenim ciljem I don't know I don't know they they can really be happy that's not sure they are not they are not happy they are miserable like I've not seen the miserable in in ever in the history of the social democrats I don't remember these people would be as miserable as they are now. That I don't believe because even RTV Slovenia is not transmitting the program of the Slovenian president who is because of whom he and RTV Slovenia alone they are so ashamed they would not transmit the program uh, from the session of the parliament when he had his speech just few days basically prior to his departure he no longer will be president. You'll get another president, another pahor, another toy, another doll involved, God knows in what, who, how, this and that. Uh, so the only thing I want to say, I wanted to finish that, what I wanted to say about the conclusion about this stuff. Because the people, the degree of people, the amount, the type of people involved in this stuff, what I think about it all. Um, well, the best thing is for me not to make any assumptions. And uh, that's why I did pretty much for the father everything possible, possibly I could have done it. Uh, and at the same time, 
especially because of the threats like this that I received, I do have to take this uh, seriously. Uh, do have to proceed with the police, with a court through the, through Slovenian court, basically get to the European court. Uh, because it's you know the problem is that European court always found the reason the way out, uh, even when Slovenian institutions were completely, I couldn't reach them. They were not really available. They were very dismissive. What otherwise belonged to a citizen of Slovenia never belonged to me. It was it was also in in a legal part in Slovenia. It wasn't like this only in healthcare and so on, prejudice with the with employment and such. It was foremost it was it started with the police, it started with the uh, judiciary, uh, what they call a Supreme Court and all kinds of stuff like this. I wouldn't even go into this stuff. It's corrupt, it's criminal. If I remind this stuff here, it's corrupt, it's criminal, it's not good. Oh, translated it means candles. Svecha, that's candles. Candles because it's going to be your father, it's going to die. That's all there is. So I don't know whether he did took some kind of hus hallucinogen today. I really don't know whether he did or not. I have no idea. So they would push this news forward. I was promised it's I will be due. Um because he volunteered for that kind of stuff. He had this friends that yeah he had a very good threat mass, he had a very good treatments at health spas, not only homes inside of for the elderly, they did have a chance with my mother to play throughout Slovenia choose which home in case they would have to go there would be their best option with a health spa at least near that kind of stuff we were playing that was the kind of stuff uh, stuff uh, but for me everything wise for me everything wise is just really important to compete to continue in the legal way as I stated with complaint at police, at court, to finally reach European Court for Human Rights, where I will also submit a complaint, because we already know how this is going to end. I have tried with completely illegal state, completely illegal state, just as I have stated in my also Times news site, Slovenian nation is as up to date this is not even a nation. This is not even a legal nation. This is this is not even what you would refer to as a nation. For you to be a nation, you have to have a clear record on something as big as is my case. Or you have to pretend like Stalin uh, played some kind of Orwellian hear nothing, saw nothing, know nothing game which the nation and would support you know, this goat uh, sacrifice goat so they would reach their big goals across the border uh, in some other country uh, condition one with the truth about something that could be revealed and could have a big impact, let's say, on Austria or Germany or whomever and so on and so forth, US and so on and so forth. So, you know, that's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to say for this video. <laughs> ah, yay, yay. Um, this guy, from what I can recall, and I already recall him. I recall this guy already. This guy, this used to be a teacher, this guy. You know, this guy used to be a teacher. Um, now I understand. Uh, there is this kindergarten and that kind of stuff. It's, it's, it's all that kind of stuff that they, uh, they present. Uh, yeah, 
I, I remember this guy when he started, when he was a teacher. Uh, this goes way back in time. This, this, this probably goes when he was no, no, no such a big shot yet. He was nothing like this, uniformed and stuff like this. Probably this goes to huh, maybe 99, 2000, something like this, when he was still, he would still wear his, um, it, that school right here that you have seen that that kindergarten that they demonstrated a little earlier yeah that's exactly the guy yeah there you go um then i think he got a higher position inside of this kindergarten something like this but i know that he actually worked inside of the school from what i can re recall this is this is what this was he was involved in mkotra Unless that was uh, a scenario of some kind from psychiatrists, uh, I really would not bet on anybody. Um, it's really, really hard to make a decision about who exactly is what is. Tatiana Proxel wanted me to succeed. For me, it's hard to connect that she would be going after me and doing some kind of crazy stuff. It's very hard because she would sit with me also in front of a computer and would also do some other stuff. He also spoke to me in a completely different way about things. So this is very difficult for me to believe um, that is Tatiana Proksha that is behind this. I would say 100% um, she is in the same boots in the same shoes as my father. She is just doing her stuff, basically hanging in there. You want to call this a career? I think it's a lot of people, they wouldn't want to do stuff they do, but they, they just have to do it. Uh, in best, it's just like Tatiana told me, it's not to question the stuff, but just do it. Because otherwise it's financial rewarding career and everything, but um, the best is not to think about. And that's how you get by. So, probably to a certain degree, Tatiana is in it. But for the most part, this, this shit is not happening because of her. Uh, I don't think that Slovenia deserves, honestly, uh, some sort of right to prosecute someone that basically... Yeah, who the fuck is not there inside of the Slovenian parliament that is any different from let's say her and, and this and, and this other lady that I demonstrated man, we are in this trouble because we have a males that um, I'm not I'm not discriminating against males or something like this but we do have males that, that fought for this independent state and I'm going to say semi-fought and then I would say they're con artists they're criminals Many of them end up in corruption, all sorts of uh, bribes, crime, that makes me even more disgusted for what I fought for, because I don't see myself in a stuff like this. Uh, honestly, God, I'm not going to be doing, I'm not going to say this, this will be a dirty stuff, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be, but, you know, this is, this is not, this is not my... This is not my, you know, it was a time I was really upset about her for what she did over there in 2014, 2015. Uh, but this, this, this isn't deciding about this, this, this lady here, this is not a decider about, uh, even that she has this scenario here written about uh, and gave me that kind of scenario. Because, you know, it's, that's how you secure your student room in Ljubljana. That's how you... I'm not going to say that she, that's how you get best grades. She was always outstanding. I think she was a very talented student. Very intelligent girl. Uh, that's basically, in respect to my case, is how you get past this stuff. 
how you actually go through whichever way the system dictates you so I can relate to whoever was that that insisted uh, nothing till you get her and this and that nobody fucking nobody in Slovenia would dictate me on how to see the things there's nobody in Slovenia who deserved the right who earned the right to say to me fucking shit about absolutely anything you all watch me in all cities you watch me beaten up you watch me in such a bad situation and uh, yet it was all acceptable it was done to me by the guy who literally murdered Ivan Kramberger the man who should be a first uh, prison in Slovenia nobody has the right to judge me nobody because the people that judge me is the people that watch me beaten up and then they claimed they understood me less and less and yeah i cannot affiliate with people like this i can't i can't accept logic like this i can't accept a nation for my own to be exact i can't see myself in a nation like this if i would have done this i would i would actually develop real mental problems it's this nation that owes me i don't owe this asian nation absolutely anything absolutely anything and it was people that suffer in the process they owe the people that suffer in this process to not only to me but we are talking about the nation and what slovenia did nobody else have done it up to date nobody did the stuff like this up to date it's a shame it's a disgrace and i even doubt i'm gonna let go that i will forgive and forget this stuff for forget i will i never will no jew that was inside a concentration camp ever have forgotten not a single one of them they all remembered their lessons and so if this is what this country managed to accomplish you're talking about 30 years 30 something years after its independence this this is how far we got it would have been way better off that one did not even exist ever to put it plain and simple there was some talk that i'm going to be the one who's going to have to follow the instructions from this and from that fuck that i'm not following instructions from absolutely anybody social workers they had social workers through the father coming here and it was about who can take care whom how this and that and it would be also mother that would acknowledge me through the conflicts which this people have orchestrated as incapable to take care of myself now that would be like the worst sentence for me and then i would be fucked and this and that and tra la 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 and tra la 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 the only thing i'm going to do is below i'm going to post a video from which little probably you can see um i know very little please keep in mind i know very little close to nothing about this Halu, hallucinogens i never tried i never used any drugs on myself i never consumed any alcohol in my life um i don't know anything about this stuff i have no clue i have no idea about any of this stuff um how this stuff was done i have no idea the only thing i can say is that father didn't look like this um but the health scare went on since my return from poland and when the mother said today 2018 was uh the stroke that he suffered this goes way back it goes to 2007 uh he was at department for neurology at the general hospital here in Novo Mesto. 
what was he doing there god knows i don't know anything i don't know what i can tell about who is doing what what is doing what whoever is doing uh i'm just saying that i'm not done with this kind of game i'm gonna pursue this just as uh everybody else would just uh, uh on grounds on legal grounds basically through the courts literally through the police uh, so that I can reach this European Court for Human Rights. And maybe they will remember who voted for European Union, who demanded Slovenia to be inside of the European Union, and maybe they will remember who did not want to go inside of the European Union, who declined to go inside of the European Union, as an act of solidarity, if I cite Borut Pahor, Milan Kuchan, with Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and other countries that entered them at the same time inside of the European Union. Even in Slovenia, standard was maybe as five more times better than in Poland, let's say, financially, talking econo econo economy-wise. This was by far the most uh, financially developed, economically self-sustained uh, not only republic in Yugoslavia but country uh, once Yugoslavia had fallen apart uh, in Eastern Europe, this small little country Slovenia, right next to Italy and Austria so that's all I wanted to say I, I don't know what else I would add to this video here what else I possibly I could I could in respect to this um, father's condition, his uh, ideas about reviving himself from completely down into again life, uh, it, 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 it's kind of a sickening shit when, when somebody goes dehydrated to hospital 50 more times and in and out in and out in and out and uh, you know you get you get to interact with all these physicians and shit and uh, unidentified dementia uh, and uh, you know all kinds of stuff we're going to do to your father if you will do this if you will do that and if you will not and ta -ta 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 this is just a, uh, just as I stated, continuation toward uh, literally a police report involvement into a legal matters, which I will file on the court, Slovenian court. With idea to get to the European Court, because I know that this is Slovenia. That's all. Um, I'm not gonna say, but I'm I'm really angry with Slovenia. Uh, I don't fucking want even the truth to come from this country out. I would prefer the truth for come to come from abroad and uh, make it look this shithole just for what it is i'm angry i'm very angry about this uh, that we have slovenian people and slovenian people and the 30 years uh, after we i we accomplished independence we ended up like uh like a dirt here inside inside of this country with completely worthless uh, for nothing and believe me I'm not even equaling myself with anybody really this is just this is just my input if, if that's what it took for me to prove my case about this stuff then I probably did I don't know how this is going to rest with other people from Slovenia uh, but I'm disgusted I'm disgusted with all of you I, I when I think about this, do you think somebody they would do to someone in Serbia something like this, or or, or to the Russia, or 
somebody from Russia that, that the Russians would do some, something like this if we can do this to anybody like this this is like uh, like a top bottom you don't you don't go any lower than this I mean if they stated to me for my father's illness how you go to the bottom they brainwash me how you uh, you start to develop with this uh, just say to demonstrate with this through these hallucinations you, as I said I'm going to post it below uh, a permanent uh, like completely demented picture and stuff like this fuck Slovenia have reached as a nation as a country this stuff already long time ago I'm not going to go over and say anything else in respect to this. Today is May 13, 2022. You had to go uh, literally into issues that literally into issues that involve issues such as family issues like this. Um, yeah, with idea to maybe I don't know, build a picture in me as far as uh, I don't know. I don't think anybody would go and do this to to make me feel sorry for my parents. This is just basically this is just so fucking evil. This is just to cause person as much as possible damage. Uh, emotional, that kind of stuff. Sad, sad country. Uh, but I did state it, and I'm not going to keep this shit inside of me like some Hollywood people, something like this. I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm taking it out. I'm venting this out to the world, for the world to see it. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.